Crazy Hank TV, the Downton Abbey rewatch is starting today. Episode one. So episode are you, one. Are you so I'm excited. But you were saying, I'm changing, I'm jumping right in here. You were talking about putting names because you don't like their episodes. Well, because if, if Julian Fellows did a great job oh, gosh, yeah. with Downton Abbey, Love it. it's fantastic. I can watch it a billion more times. I bet you could. But it just says season one, episode one. So my job at each episode is to come up with a title oh. for the episode, and you don't know what the title is going to okay. be. Okay. So All right. You people that are watching, you people, and you know who you people are. You, if you're watching, put a comment. Do you like the title? Maybe Julian Fells can you maybe like Star Wars when they originally Star Wars came out, which is Star Wars, and then they added New Hope to it. Oh, did they? I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, because I'm not a Star, Star Wars. You didn't see the final one. I did because because sometimes in marriage you have to just suck it up and do what your husband you know make your husband a little happy. Yeah. It, so one time in 34 years. Yes. Lucky me. Anyway, so. <laughs> So you didn't come up with a name yet? I did come up with a name. Okay. And I, I, this is the name I came up with. Mary's Cold Heart Sank the Titanic. Oh. What do you think? I think you should just do it. Season one, Mary's Cold Heart. No, because it, it, the first oh. episode's about the Titanic. Okay. It's Can I show season. everybody my... So, when so what would you think of the... <laughs> well, to be fair to Mary, because this episode, she, as, as it goes on, you can see why she's as cold as she is. About the, what happened and stuff because yeah. she's being forced into a, a marriage that, that she, she didn't want to be into. A loveless marriage. Right. So, anyway. Which I think they did back then a lot of the time. Well, they did, and they, right. it, it happened. So, but again, I, that just because she was so cold in this episode. But anyway, go ahead. All right. So, when Downton Abbey first came out, World Market was selling Downton Abbey stuff. So, this is my little teapot. Is that a Downton Abbey teapot? It's a t Downton Abbey teapot. Now, I don't know if it's. Careful. I know. I don't know um, if it's from the movie if it, or the TV show, if it was this kind of. That's the way it looked. And then, so I thought on this occasion, I would bring my tea, and of course you don't have tea. This is my Downton Abbey teapot. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it looks like Minnie Mouse and, and, and Daisy Duck, but you know what? I don't like tea, so I'll do some fake tea. My granddaughter's always making me fake tea. Yes. So put the tea in here. Yes. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, don't want don't to spill it. Oh, no, don't want to spill it. <laughs> You're so and bizarre. Put, put it down. Let me taste it. Oh, that's great tea. Anywho. So we, when we went to London, we did go to a really nice tea room. We'll shove pictures at the end so you guys can see it. Anyway, okay. so we should probably get into the episode. Anyway, so it starts out, let's just say from the beginning that, that they do such a great job, in my opinion, do such a great job of setting up just all the characters. It's, it, when you have that many characters... I mean, I don't know. I don't know off the top of my head how many how many characters are there's there's main characters and there's there's the the supporting cast, but there's a lot of characters. Right. True. And after this first pilot episode, you're pretty involved in a lot of the characters, which is amazing for it's a TV show. Probably about show. fifteen. I'm counting yeah, right you, now. You're talking. Yeah. Usually, a TV it's like Lost did the same thing where you you got so involved in so many characters, it's hard to do. So hats off to Julian Fellows. He did a great job, I think, of setting up the beginning. You know, we get we get to how the worker. You know, we start with the telegraph message. Right. Which I still think is so amazing back then that that's how they communicated. Like, how did someone figure out how to do with each of the... I don't know. It's just, so, it just amazing. Yeah, well, you, you got to learn to communicate, and that's how yeah, we, we that's progress true. as we go. Yes, we have. You know, they didn't have email. Right. <laughs> oh, no. The Titanic fell. It shouldn't sink. It shouldn't sink. Oh, that's true. Oh, no. Anyway. Uh, so, anyway, um, the message is from April 12th... Um, I'm sorry. April 1912. So I think it was cool, too, because this is the first time I really realized when I watched it for the 20th time, is that... It did start out with the music. It started out with the train, and it started out with the telegraphing and everything. And at first, I was trying to figure out, it's like when they said, oh, you know, I don't know if you're there yet. But when they said, you know, um, don't, you know, why are you going to go rush over there? They're not even awake yet. I didn't realize who he was talking to. I was like, who is he talking to? Is he giving it to the newspaper people? And then I finally realized after how many years and how many times I watched it, what they were really doing. So I thought, huh, finally, I found something new. Well, because someone told you. Yes, you did. Anyway. Because obviously, I don't, I don't pay attention to details. No, you don't. Okay. No, and your tea's a little bitter. Um, let's see. Uh, the staff has to get up early, and, and, and then we start learning the the at the time. You know, well, it's it's still probably still today. The class, you know, warfare right. where you have the you have the people that are servants and you know people that work really hard. And, and you have but the even rich... the servant area, even the servants have their class of what they yes, think yeah, is beneath them. Exactly. I think it's just so weird. How I don't we... want to be a yeah. footman. So I'm I just footman. think it's so weird how people in each of their little categories, if you want to call them categories, they all have their 
stereo, you know, their class yeah. levels and what they think everything is and what's beneath well, it's them how too. You, it's how you, I guess, you make yourself feel better. You know, the, I guess the, so. the stepping ladders. Daisy's afraid of electricity. Something like we go, wow, who's afraid of electricity? I mean, obviously, right. you don't want to get shocked, but right. she's. Just, I still don't know what she's saying in that part where she cleans. She's cleaning the fireplace, and they asked her why she didn't. Um, turn the lights, and she says something there. So if anybody knows what she says there, I've replayed that a thousand Why times. Put it on, uh, oh, I should caption. put on closed caption. That's true. See another thing. You tell and we me. got the bells ringing. Well, no, the 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 uh, the, does the paper boy arrive? No, you're you're, you're you're jumping around. Well, I'm I'm trying. I'm just just making a basic. Uh, All right, go ahead. Uh, let's see. And you, Robert, the bells are ringing. Oh, the bells are ringing. Lady Mary's. Uh, no, yes. Yeah. Because uh, so, they're all downstairs doing their, and they're that, trying to and, get and their things done before. And that's how they communicate in the house. They right. don't have an intercom section. No. They go ding, ding, and they have different bells, Lady Mary. And how you communicate now in the house is you text your child. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Come downstairs for dinner. Eat now. <laughs> Put the video game down. Uh, but you, uh, he, uh, Robert walks down the stairs. I just, for some reason, the way he walks down that stairs. So, it's, it's. The, his, so, the way he stands, the way his back is just perfectly straight. I wonder how many takes he had to take to bring that. It's just like, it almost looks like he's gliding. It's my favorite part of the episode, that first part, is just watching that. And right there, they set up his class. That, he, that he's... The, up, how that proper he, he is. That he's and, the head cheese. Yes, and just his status in, in this um, series, just from that walk. I think that set it up right there. Well, the telegram arrives, Robert reads it, and leaves the room. Yes. And we find out that Patrick... Was it was didn't Crowley, make it. Patrick Crowley did not make it. He was on the ship. Didn't yes. make it. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mr. Patrick was to arrive at Downton, and Mr. Patrick was the heir to Downton Abbey. Arrive. Can't read your writing yet. Can't read my writing. Sorry, I apologize. He was the heir to Downton Abbey. I wish we would have seen pictures of him or something of him, just to kind of get it like, because you you really don't know what he looked like. Was he ugly? Why was Mary so anti against it? I think Mary, because Mary, as we find out, Mary is a very strong-willed person. Okay. And Mary, I think if she's, again, I, I made the joke about her being cold-hearted, and she does seem cold-hearted in this, this episode, but when you find, as the as this series progresses, you find out, okay, she's not that bad a person. No. And she's still got her, her issues. She still has her issues. But, you know, it, again, if you were going to put in a marriage that you didn't want to be put into, just to keep the the system going, because the system isn't, and the system's not fair to women. Right. It's not fair to Especially a back, lot of women. Absolutely, back then. So... Again, I understand. Uh, John Bates uh, shows up, and he's he's a new valet. Yes, he is. And he meets uh, the new valet. He, uh, and he meets uh So he comes in. You see him. He has a. Um, and it's weird because when you watch the show, like in that first episode, you really can see the his leg issues. You know what's going on, and everything. But as the show progresses, and especially in the movie, I didn't really notice it as much. Um, either I didn't notice it, or he kind of tapered it down a bit because it wasn't as noticeable and well, I, th I think you wanted it they, they wanted you to notice this because the staff is concerned you know the next scene the staff's concerned how is he going to be able to walk up those stairs how is he going to be able to perform his job he can manage to the level to the level <laughs> right the level of, of how he's supposed to, you know and they're all worried look i'm already working hard enough as it is right why do i and I, I, you, you kind of get it it's like why do i have to do more work because you can't do your sure. job as wrong as it is you know it's, it's like but you can kind of see, you know, they're up from dawn. You know, they work 12, 15 hours a day. Yes, I do. Do I want to work harder? This right. new guy, I don't know this guy. He could be a jerk. Right. So, But, but I, think, I love I think Mr. That's, Brian. I think, I think they're trying to show that. So, in, in the end, we know he has a limp, but we're not focused on it. Right. I'm just wondering if I didn't notice it as much or it it changed through, it evolved and changed as a series and, and, the, and the movie went on. But I love O'Brien. O'Brien is still my favorite character. Just because I just love the one-liners and things that they gave her to use. Actually, a lot of their little one-liners in there, I just think it's really interesting. Um, and so I think that's why I like her so much, because she's always got a quick little quirk or a little answer for for everything. A little snotty answer. A little snotty answer. Uh, Thomas shows uh, Bates his room. He's kind of, he's, he's not very pleasant no, he's, about it. Because Thomas was doing that job. Yeah. And Thomas wanted the job, thought he it, thought he was the, you know, the next you know, position to, should be his, and uh, he was overlooked and 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 went went over with Bates, and that bothered him. Yeah, and I, you know, you can see, you can kind of see it's like he's like I'm getting passed over for this guy. Well, and I think that's a normal thing. Even if you saw it today, I think people um, have their what they think is uh, they think automatically they should be the, that next position, and they don't realize Especially the whole someone, thing when they hire from outside. Right, right. It's always not fun for hiring from the outside. Uh, Mary just wants to know if she has to be in full mourning. Yes. Uh, her fiance just died, and so we're like going. 
Jeez, what a... She comes across so cold there. Yeah. She really does, and her, and her father's looking at her like... Because the thing, again, that one, the scene before that where um, Robert comes in and tells... Um, <laughs> really? Robert comes in and tells um, his wife, and I'm drawing a blank on her name. Anyway, um, tells him about that he had Cora. passed. Cora, thank you. I don't know why that dropped me. And then she's just so concerned that Mary's going to be so upset. Did they not know that she wasn't happy about it? Because Cora's like, oh, you got to tell Mary she can't hear from anybody else. Yeah. She's going to be so upset. Well, and she wasn't. No! <laughs> I think Robert was upset. Not so much that Mary wasn't upset, but it was his cousin. Yes. It was his, it was his family. And, yes. And she was not upset at all. It's like, right. She's like, oh, well, I'll marry someone else. Right. Uh, uh, let's see, Cora and... Uh, I don't even know who this is. Uh, Cora does and Robert there. When, Robert, what, what, uh, what did you hear? we already did that part. Okay. Thomas gives Bates the lowdown and how the how things are run, like all the clothes, what cufflinks he should wear, stuff and like they that. see the snuff box, the snuff which box. comes into play. What's a snuff box? We it's where they put used to put their well, you can put different stuff in it, but people used to put their little cooking <laughs> where they sniffed and stuff. This really? Stuff. Yeah, different things. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, you can you, you can put you can put all kinds of things in there. You know, like, like cigarettes too, or something like that. You put tobacco in there. Okay. I guess there's a. All right. I don't know. I never had a snuff box, but I think that's a. You know. <laughs> so um, Cora and Robert are walking their grounds. Their beautiful grounds that they're walking. And did look the grass was so green. So green. Nice. And, and you know they prepared it to look like that. Yes. Anyway. So. Uh, how and they were talking about how the death could affect the lung. So so they're in mourning, but now they're already worried about okay because Cora is the one we find out Cora saved Downton because of her inheritance. Her inheritance because she's an American. And Americans can inherit money. Well, girls can in America, but in England or in Europe, that wasn't the but, case. But she's going to lose her fortune because of the plan that was set forth by Robert's father. And I, I know, and that just seems so weird. Like, she, 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 he was obviously a fortune hunter, Robert, in, in the beginning of their marriage. And um, she wasn't upset that, that the money was so tied, like her money was tied like that. Like, it didn't bother her. Well, you know, again, we get bits and pieces that goes along, but... yeah. I guess so. I but guess anyway. not. Uh, Violet tells Cora she's she's heard the news. Right. Because right? now we we meet. Uh, you meet Violet and and um, and it's again. You, it just seems weird that what is it twenty plus years later and they still are not the best of friends. Violet and Cora in this in this scene. Well, they're not the best of friends, but as a, as the series progresses, there is there we do find there is some respect. Yes, there is. So, I agree. Some respect. Uh, the new heir is going to be Robert's third cousin. So his th this third cousin. Inherits everything. Yes. What a, what a crazy what a crazy. Well, when Robert dies, he yeah, inherits. I know, everything. I know, but it's still it's crazy that yes. he he's going to inherit everything. Uh, Mary still has Downton and the money. She still has something. They all have a little something. Cora has a little something. Yeah. Uh, all the children, all his girls, were all provided with a little something. Um, anyway, this is how it all set up. Uh, Carson gives Bates the lowdown, and you know he tells something him. about Robert, what kind of guy he yeah. is. You know how you should act around. Don't be, you know, tongue tied. Because they're having, they're having their, their breakfast whatever, or their breakfast or meal. And then Robert walks in and, and he knows Bates. And yes. Everyone's like going. What? And Bates <laughs> says, "You never asked. You never asked." Again, my sexy Bates. Just yes. love that guy. And she's she's in love with Bates. Yes. I don't get it. Uh, Robert is talking with the uh, lawyer Murray, and it's funny how Murray won't talk with. Uh, Cora. Cora, even though it's Cora's money, money. It's like, <laughs> I know. I don't have to talk to you. Right. So they went to London, and then they they came back to Downton. They did a memorial service for for Patrick there. They did their thing in London. So if, just for your own sake, it's supposed to be a couple months later, and and going through the whole thing, and um, and um, and we so. find out the new heir is Matthew Crawley, and he's a doctor, and it just uh, just a, no, he's a lawyer, a lawyer, but the fa but his, his father, father was a doctor, doctor yes. and that bothered Robert. Doctor's not considered high class. Yes. Well, we can put up. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's funny, a doctor. Because, you know, most of us, like now, doctors are like, oh, wow, you're a doctor? Because yeah. of what, you know, you, what you have to do to become a doctor. Yeah, it's like, an amazing, oh amazing feat. Uh, Matthew will get everything. Again, yes. third cousin, they don't even know him, gets everything. Yeah, that's just so weird. Crazy. Uh, Carson tells Mrs. Hughes, because uh, they're talking back and forth, he goes, well, he considers the Crawleys, his, this is his family. Right. That everyone, I think everyone in, everyone in the Downton Abbey house... Is his family. Well, I'm, I'm assuming that Carson went there as a young man, probably 18, 19 years old, and, and that's all he's known his whole life, and so that would make sense that it would be considered his family. Um, but anyway. But I, Mrs. Hughes is like going, they're not my family. Not my family. He goes, well, they're my family. Yes. And I, I, I think he, just, I think he, well, he considers everybody that is there. He, even, the, even the people that, you know, like Thomas and so even the, the people he may not like, 
they are part of his family. Right, right. Uh, Thomas goes to the village. We don't know what he's doing. And, and Carson goes, well, I gave him some time, which is, we find out later on there's... What was going on with that all, yeah. Uh, O'Brien asked uh, how Bates has worked. Of course, asked... Uh, uh, O'Brien. Oh, and she's like, you know... And Cora really came off cold in this episode. She was really not... Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't disagree. Um, she did come off not the most warm person. And, but she was upset that he had passed. Yeah, Well, no, about that, but she was like about Bates. She oh. Like, oh, you know. Yeah, she, yes. Because, yes. you know, well, the workers were not pulling extra duty. because And Robert and Bates talk. Right. Uh, Thomas had sent a telegram. Yes. Mm. So O'Brien and, and Thomas talk about getting rid of Bates. So right. already they're starting to... They've already got their... What, what is it? Their plot. Their pl they're already so figured we're, out. We're, their... we're learning that those two are the troublemakers. True. That they're the ones that, that want... That stir the pot. Stir the pot. Um, they're the ones that are going to make um, Bates time. They're very uncomfortable um, because ultimately um, O'Brien wants um, Thomas to have the position of uh, valet. Right. So, and with for Mr... And we really never know... I guess it was because they were friends, or they, they... were they friends? Or are they just someone that they got along with each other? And he they, were, they were both conniving people, true, and and a little bit bitter. So maybe that's why they they together they became okay. not friends, but they became you know people who got along because they're so the same bitter people. Okay. Bitter people like to hang around bitter people. Okay, I guess. So sounds good. They like this tea is a little bitter. You don't have any but tea. In that's, your that's okay. It's just a little bitter. I, maybe some lemon would have been nice. Uh, Sybil, Sybil seems to, we meet Sybil, and uh, she seems to be kind of... The mediator, don't she, you think? Yeah, but she also looks up to Mary, I think. Yeah, I think, well, she's the baby of the family, and I think she, you know, her and um, Edith don't get along, Mary and Edith. And, you know, there was, and that, you know, we kind of didn't really talk about it or mention it, but I guess Edith was very, very much in love with Patrick, but she could never have him because she wasn't the oldest daughter. Yes. So, um, so she was carrying on about everything, and that really bo bothered um, Mary. Um, but I just think it, um, I just think that Sybil, and you'll find as you go through, I think she's the one that kind of mediates and keeps everybody at, at peace there. Right. Uh, Violet, we find out Violet is afraid of electricity. Doesn't even have it in her, her house. Yes, I love when she puts her fan up to block the, the lights. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't know what, it, what, what, if you've never been around it. I guess so. It, it would be scary. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, I know when we first got a computer, we both were like, we both balk at it like, what? You didn't? I did. I did. That was like so much easier to write it than to type it. Uh, Robert, we found out Robert married Cora for, for her, her money. money. A year later, though, he did, he did fall, fall in love, love with her. So, yes, that was nice. Yeah, so that was nice that a year later he fell in love. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy is upset the uh, um, the uh, oh, how they all how they all froze to death. Oh, that, 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 oh the, I know what I wrote down. Daisy's upset that Rose let Jack die. <laughs> Because Daisy's going... In Titanic, yeah, the movie, I know. Daisy I'm never going to let you go. Daisy was going on saying, look, there was enough room on that door for Jack <laughs> too. Why did they let Jack die? So even Downton Abbey is, is, is exposing that movie for a problem. But I wish I would have known this thing because it's like, no, what is it? No mountain's not climbable. No ship is not sinkable. Whatever hit Robert was saying. Because um, they all felt like it would never sink. And I don't know why people think that way. Everything's... Anything can be, I guess. Well, it was supposed to be, you know, state of the art. It couldn't sink. And it right. sinks on its maiden voyage. But Daisy kept going on and on and on about it. And they just got tired of listening to... Dave, what are they called? Uh, uh, Penny Drew... What is it? D Down or Debbie? Debbie. Down or Debbie. Down or Debbie. Penny something they called her. I forget what they call I know, it, but I she was, she's young. Yes, and she and well, she, they, and she, and she she's, it's it scared her. Right, and the, and I guess those the, the downstairs maids of, of her her age they were thinking that they were like in their teens. That's how young they were at yeah. that age. They left their home like at fourteen, yeah, thirteen, fourteen years old. Uh, the Duke has arrived. The Duke who has no money. The Duke. Yeah. yeah. He wants Thomas to help him out. Hmm. And then you realize there's a little relationship yeah. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then Thomas trips Bates. Yes. To make him look bad. To make him look bad, and then. Uh, but then Mary and the Duke talk. Yes. And Mary, Mary's kind of, Mary's kind of uh, liking the Duke, isn't she? Yeah, she's, you know, she's flirting. She's yeah. having fun, enjoying their company. Um, but anyway. And then uh, Cor and Robert are talk are talking, and, and he says, "I don't care what Cart," because he says Carson doesn't think highly uh, of No, well, Car Carson doesn't like the, the the scene that was done out there. That bothers right. Carson. It wasn't like to his standards. And Robert goes, "I don't care what Carson thinks." And then Carson walks in. Awkward. Awkward. Turn. <laughs> it, it felt bad. It felt, felt, felt bad for Carson because it's getting his family. And then, yeah. and then I think Bates, uh, uh, Robert goes, oh. <laughs> uh, 
Cora is down on Bates, doesn't really like him. Uh, the Duke and Mary go into the ro footman's room. And at first I thought that was weird. I was like, you know, because when you first saw them, they're exploring. Like, yeah, they're exploring. I'm like, that's weird because it's... And Mary didn't like it. No, she didn't. She didn't like it she at all. She was wrong. Right. She felt like, you know, there's rules. She felt like she's a rule follower and she didn't like it. Uh, Bates catches them. Yes. And he, and he asked, see, do you want to look in my room? Would you like to explore my room? Right. Because uh, Mary goes, we're exploring. Would you like to explore my room? And she's basically telling him, look... There's, there's there's rules. It's right. your house because right. the Duke says it's your house. Well, it is your house, but you've hired these people. It's it's their room, right? And so I think I, I I like the way Bates did it. Was basically saying, you know, you are intruding on my personal life. Right. But we later find out what the Duke what, what the Duke for. was doing. Yes. Uh, Carson tells uh, Robert Bates is not right for the job. Yes. He's not right for the job. So yes. no, no. Uh, Robert's talks with Bates. He lets. Uh, Bakes go. He wants to get Bates money. And Bates says, "Nope, a, a, a dollar, a job, a dollar earned for a job well, a job done, or something, right. something to that effect." Right. Uh, Ia tells uh, the family that Mary took the Duke up to this, and, and in typical, you know, someone who likes to antagonize her sister, going on and on and on and on and on, and on until Mary goes, "Will you shut your mouth?" Yeah. And I love that saying. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. it's you, it, it, again, they set up a grit that there is a lot of friction between yes, Mary and Edith. Mary and Edith, right. they're, they're, they're not well liked. They don't like each other. So uh, Anna's taking some food up to Bates, who's crying. Well, I think Bates, um, and we'll find out later, um, has some difficulty in his life. Um, was trying to get his life together. Um, he felt the place he was. It was just a perfect fit. He thought everything was going to be just what he wanted, and it was going to have some happiness. He liked happiness. it there. He it, liked it, it there. It, right. And Anna was like, "Oh well, what do I do?" And then she respected uh. that, giving him some space. So she walked back, announced her arrival, so that he could kind of like compose himself, and she could give him his food. Uh, Robert and the Duke are talking, and I think Robert realized who this guy is because that was Robert. Right. So he right. he knew, and when when the Duke found out that Mary was not going to get the whole inheritance. Right. He just backed he away. He goes, you're not going to fight it? So that's where I think he was. Was he mad at the Duke or was he mad at himself about how he was back? How oh, he had, well, good how question. Because I'm sure he was forced, not forced, but I'm sure Violet is strong-willed as well. And, and Violet's, and his dad right. at the time were very strong-willed and to keep the the family intact. Well, she said at one point, um, Violet, you know, of all the girls you could have chosen who would have fit, filled my shoes much better than Cora, you chose her. So, anyway. so I think he, it probably was he was forced to do something. No, with, I don't know if he was forced. No, I, think I, maybe, I think he was forced to go out and find, he, he was a fortune. Or maybe he felt like he needed to do that to maybe conversations between him and his father, which we don't know. Maybe he, you know, maybe he felt like it was time to, you know. But I'm saying why he, he might have chose Cora as a dig to his parents who were making him. No, I think he was um, choosing Cora because he, he talks about it. He says his, um, Downton is his, what, his friend. His first love, his second, third child, fourth parent, but, and that but, but, he, but Violet, he knew that he needed money to sustain the business, to sustain that place. I know, but Violet says, you know, you could have chose. I think he chose Cora because they didn't said he didn't love her till a year later. More of okay, I'm getting the money, but I'm also this is. I know you don't like her. Okay, I okay, disagree or, with you. Okay, well, I think I'm right. So, okay, yeah. I think I'm right. La di da right. for you. Uh, Mary tells. Let's see, the Duke. Uh, Mary's waiting for the Duke. And the Duke says, "Oh, I got grabs the council. Oh, well, you know, I, I, you know, I'm leaving in the morning. You know, so it was nice. Goodbye. You don't have any money. I'm out of here. Oh, can you send the footman up? <laughs> uh, Mary tells, and then Edith goes, "Oh, about uh, about some uh, just guess it, I guess you didn't catch that fish or something. Ca I guess, and Mary says, "Well, at least I'm not fishing without bait." Yes. I said, "Oh, that was a good line. Again, <laughs> some great lines in here." Uh, Thomas wants to go with the. Duke. Yeah, he wants to be his valet. He he's he's again Thomas in their positions. It's a better position for him. He wants to. Plus, I know. think he's also. I think he also has feelings for the Duke, or at least they had okay. a they had a relationship. They had some kind of relationship. And he goes, and, they, and they're going back and forth. And he goes, well, you know, I have proof. And the Duke says, these these letters. <laughs> and the Duke throws the letters in the fire, and yes. then goes Thomas down the, the drain in his uh, plot his plot to better himself. Uh, Bates is leading with the Duke. Yes, because uh, uh, well, they come downstairs, and and Carson asks um, Robert, "Is it okay if Bates sits in the front?" Because um, it, it just seems more well. There's 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 for him to travel. There's no right, room and stuff right. like that. Um, and, and and he said if he doesn't like it, he could lump it. Yes, because he has no respect for the Duke at no. all. 
Uh, Robert says goodbye to Bates. Uh, Bates tells, uh, Robert tells Bates to go out to the car. Uh, he tells Cora. It wasn't right. No, uh, no, Robert chases after the car. Now, you'd think that Bates, as, as the car's leaving, Robert chases after him. You think it was because he was so mad at the Duke that he goes. No, I think the, con the way he said goodbye to him, Bates did it then. There was no animosity. He wished him goodwill. And I think he realized that he was a good guy. And he, and I think deep down, you see it periodically through the season series and everything that you know they always that Robert is more humble, more of a humble guy compared to the rest of them. And I think that came out of him. And I think that's why he wanted him not to get back at Duke. And he tells Cora, it wasn't right. Yes, and it wasn't right. No, nope. I mean he it, 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 in the grand now probably in real life. I'm sure that didn't happen where True. where the. Where a guy like Robert would you know care that much? Well, and not that it matters, but you know, my my aunt had a she had polio and she had a her leg was shorter because of it. And back in the day, she couldn't be a nurse. I mean, not a nurse. She couldn't be a nun because they worked hard, so they wouldn't accept her as a nun. That so because of her affliction. So I think it, in probably in real life, they probably couldn't get jobs like that if they couldn't hold their own, yeah. or maybe at a different position. So right. And then at the end, we get Matthew gets a letter. Yes, and they his opened up. Our life is about, about to, to change. change. Dun, 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 dun. And that was it. The pilot, yes. pilot episode, I it really draws you in, right? Because I, I I can remember telling you so many times, you got to watch this show. Yes. I was a couple seasons ahead of yes, you. Yes, you were. You got to, and finally you you, and now you watch it. You've seen it probably each episode a hundred times, and and I think that I just love the characters. I love the the whole scene of it. Um, if I were to redo my life, if you could redo life, which you can't, I'd be, um, I'd be British. I would love, I would love to be live in London. I would love to live in that era, the clothes. I wouldn't like the way women were treated and not have a vote or a say and everything. That would, that would drive me crazy. Um, but I guess if you don't know anything, maybe you, you live with it, but I couldn't know what I know now and then go back and do that. But I just love the, I just, I don't know. There's something about the English people. I just, I just like it. Well, you like become, it. after this, you became very into a lot of it, a lot of British TV. I did. I well, watched we, a we'd lot watch, of we'd British. We watched uh, uh, Copper and, uh, yep. and, and also. Uh, I watched Call the, uh, Call the Midwife. Call the Midwife. We watched uh, Ripper Street. Ripper Street. I watched a lot. I watch a lot of British show. I'm watching, um, it's not a British show. The but Crown. I, the Crown. I watch Am with an E. Um, it's a, it's the it's a great, if you haven't seen that yet on Netflix, it's a great series. Um, I watched, um, oh, I'm drawing a blank, Upstairs, Downstairs. Um, I, I watched, there was one about the doctor, Dr. Th it was Thorne or something. I don't know what it was. It was a really good series. I enjoyed that. Um, I watched a lot of it. I just love that whole era. And I, what I do now, because I have unlimited books, is I read, you always say, what am I reading? Um, I read British historical, historical, uh, historical romance, romance. It's all about Br British and, and like in that, in that era about dukes and duchess and, and this and that. And um, I just really enjoyed that whole, those old plots and I enjoyed it all. So, but again, we'll be here every week yes. until we get to the movie. movie. Now, we may mess a week here or there, but the goal is to be here every, every week. week. Give me an episode. With our tea. With our tea. She is. <laughs> oh, so good. And we'll post those pictures of the. Uh, about us going to the tea room and somebody being a little booger about it. I don't like tea. I know. But uh, if you guys do like this, please uh, subscribe. Um, give, us a, uh, give us a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. If there's something else you want us to cover, something um, else you don't like. Put it below on comments, please. Yeah, if I, you I, can't, I, sometimes comments aren't on. You can always go to Jack's Instagram. What's your Instagram account? My, it's, well, it's Crazy, crazy TV. TV. But no, but the, the, I leave the comments on. You do? Okay. Unless Good. It, uh, but uh, comments are better than thumbs. I mean, if you want to give a thumbs down, you can give a thumbs down. I'm not going to cry over it. But a, a comment... Is better than a thumbs down. Yeah, I mean, I think... Because I don't know. A thumbs down means, well... I, what What did you not like of that why thumbs did, down? Why, didn't why you did like, you give a thumbs down? What was the reasoning? Why didn't you like Cindy? <laughs> I don't understand why you don't like Cindy. Why do they not like me? I'm fabulous, please. <laughs> but anyway, that's what we're going to do here. And, and hopefully you enjoy it. And enjoy Downton Abbey as much as Cindy does. And as much as I do. And that's all we got. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day. Bye. Till next time. <laughs> You're so weird.